Normally I do this as a voiceover, but hey, welcome back. This is me out in the garage, and it's time to do a little work on the XC. The XC had an issue last year, if you remember in one of the videos where it was having a starting issue. That starting issue was related to the in-tank fuel filter being plugged up. So some bad gas, whatever the case might have been, but that fuel filter, kind of like a sponge essentially, is pretty sensitive to dirt. And uh, the fix was to put a new one on and then put an in-tank sock. However, when I had the bike in doing that, um, KTM was, uh, I mean, they were doing me, the, doing me a solid by doing the updated tune, uh, but I don't like the updated tune. <laughs> the original tune that was in this bike was, uh, was pretty rich down below, and that gave you extra torque, but it did give you a little bit of uh, oil coming out of the exhaust, uh, but the bike ran stronger, or at least to my mind, felt stronger down low, and I missed that. But I couldn't revert back to the old tune, it's gone. So I reached out to BRC and BRC was able to provide me with a TSP head, medium comp, and tune my ECU for me. So I put the trail map tune in here, which gives you like a motocross kind of tune on the green map and a nice enduro on the white map. So I think I'll get the best of both, wor both worlds out of that. At least that's what I'm told. So today I'm gonna install this. Trying to get all the dirt out from under here because, well, this isn't going to see the light of day again for a little while. All right, fuel tank off and, well, there's a bit more cleaning to do to get some of this dust off before we pull the head. I want to get all this dirt and stuff, anything that could fall down. I'm just going to get rid of all of that. Give it a little wipe down, maybe a little WD-40 or silicone. And uh, then we're going to drain all the coolant and then it'll be time to crack that head off. All right. Time to drain the coolant. Have coolant my... drained, coolant hose removed, as well as the spark plug, which is, well, it's looking a little bit wet, but you know, kind of brown on the end there. And if I remember correctly, this is actually Corey's brand new spark plug when we thought that might be the issue with my bike when it wasn't starting. Okay, everything looking good, as you'd expect with the Pretty low hour motor. I think she's got about 40 hours on it, so yeah, rebuild's a little ways away yet. Everything's nice and clean. Cross hatch is still tight. Can't see anything in terms of marks, even by the power valve there. All looking good. The uh, original two piece head, uh, yeah, that was a, took a little bit of a tap with the mallet, the rubber mallet, to get it out. So now it's time to put in the new stuff. Have it all buttoned up again. I need to add coolant and uh, start putting everything back on the bike. Okay, all buttoned up. No leaks anywhere, as far as I can tell. Maybe get a little coolant spill. Okay, it wasn't a little coolant spill. It was a lot of coolant spill. The little bleeder valve that sits on top of the head, I had backed out too far, and uh, it popped right out and fell, and I ended up having to put my finger over top of it after coolant came fountaining out. But uh, anyway, got it back together and topped off the coolant. Definitely no air in the system though. Short run just down the road. Uh, it's kind of icy out right now because it's cold as shit. But uh, yeah, that woke the bike up significantly and tapped into a lot of that power that you know is in this bike. Definitely with the map, when it was remapped from, uh, from the dealer with this sort of second map that it's ever had, um, it was more tractable, tractable? I don't know, it was easier to ride off-road for fuck's sake. Uh, you could uh, make traction a little easier without breaking loose. But I missed that snap and I think, I think it's back in spades.